What's up guys, thanks for clicking on this video. Today I have my CR80R. Um, it's actually been getting a lot of traction on my channel. And uh, we're gonna be turning it into a big wheel version today. Uh, I'll go over briefly on what you need to do to make your CR80 or CR85 into a big wheel edition if you have the regular small wheel. It's actually very simple. All you need is to get a bigger rim set or wheel set. So that's a 19 inch front compared to a 17. And this is a 17 rear, which is, I believe this is a 14 or a 16. I think it's a, I think it's a 14. Um, and then obviously you need the longer swing arm um, and then on top of that, you're going to need a longer rear, uh, rear brake line that goes from the master to the caliper just because of the extended swing arm length. And then on top of that, you're going to need a new chain as well because of the swing arm length. Um, I know that the expert version has heavier springs in the front forks and then in the rear as well to compensate for the longer uh, suspension travel. I don't have that. I'm not doing that today. Uh, I'm just going to try to get everything bolted together and get it all running so uh easily enough like i said i'm 6'3 i'm tall this bike's small it's a pit bike it's not supposed to be like fit me per se but uh i think i would just benefit from the big wheel version make it a little bit more rideable a lot more fun for me to ride but uh, more specifically is my fiance which was riding a crf 125 fb really likes this bike uh so i kind of wanted to make it a big wheel version uh, she's really short though. She's like 5'2", five, 5'3". Five, so I'm hoping that this isn't too much, but um, I kind of wanted to get her the big wheel version because when you're, we live in Michigan, obviously, so in uh, like the sand trails, if it's whooped out, the bigger wheels, longer suspension travel, in theory, should help her feel more comfortable and absorb all that bumps and sand and have better hold up. But um, I guess we'll see for sure. This is kind of, I did this on a whim. Uh, I got these parts off eBay. I found a good deal on them. So I was like, eh, screw it. Why not make a video for you guys? So I'll stop talking now and uh, we'll get into tearing this apart and I'll kind of, I guess, give you a walkthrough. This isn't the greatest tutorial that you ever find, but like I said, I gave you the information. It's pretty straightforward, honestly. Uh, hardest part is probably going to be bleeding the freaking rear brake. So without uh, further ado i guess let's get into it okay guys so i'm getting the front wheel off right now i'm actually uh swapping out brake rotors because i have the nice waved galfer on my stock rim i'm going to swap that out on the big wheel so i'm going to do that just real quick on the ground here i had to uh replace where did i put that This is what happens when you work on shit. You just put something where. Um, so yeah, I had to actually remove what this uh, this new wheel came without a seal on. Uh, oh, oof! I put those in there good. The new wheel came without a seal on this side, and actually the rear tire has also got a seal that's sticked up. So I'm gonna have to rob it off of that tire as well. I'll end up getting new seals and bearings eventually, but just for the time being, I'm swapping them out. I guess we'll see if the bearings are bad in these old uh, old wheels, or new we new old wheels, I guess you would call it. <laughs> I don't know. It's a beautiful day. I wish I was riding right now. You guys can't see it, but behind me, my XR400, uh, my buddy wanted to go riding, and I was like, you know what? My chain's a little loose. I want to go adjust it, and uh, the axle nut was frozen on there to the point of like air impact but milwaukee big battery impact heat impact nothing was doing anything ended up having to cut it off so i got a new axle on the way to fix that but really really happy about that super super pumped about that all right all righty I got my Galfer brake rotor from the old wheel on. I'm gonna slide this sucker back on. Hopefully without tipping the bike over on the stand. And keeping the spacers all in the correct places. Let's see what that looks like. <laughs> I 
What do you think, guys? Should I ride it just like that? Make it like a chopper? Dude, I'm excited. I'm excited for these big wheels. That's gonna be pretty sweet. All right, guys, I think we're gonna try to get this rear wheel off now. Yeah, I'm kind of excited for this big wheel. I mean, for me, it's gonna be nice because I can't really ride this thing without like my knees hitting the handlebars. Um, for my fiance, I hope it works out. Might have to get like an aftermarket shaved down seat or something just so she can actually touch a little bit better. Okay guys, I took off the stator cover. Uh, I don't know why I did that. <laughs> no, I think uh, I probably need that to get the new chain on. So um, I just took off the rear brake caliper. I got the brake line sitting off to the side, pan under it obviously so it's not dripping brake fluid. But before I take off the swing arm, pivot, axle, whatever you want to call it. I got to disconnect the dog bone that connects to the swing arm. So let's uh, attempt to do that. Be kind of a pain in the butt, but we'll do our best. I'm going to check out like all my bearings, probably on the linkage, agree some, make sure everything's still okay and not broken or needs to be replaced while I'm in here. There we go. Oh, it's got grease on it, so that's good. I'm gonna wait until I get the swing arm off to check everything else. So now, I believe, Seventeen. That's got to be a nineteen, probably, which is what I have right here. I got my mic under my shirt, so if I'm like, <laughs> what the fuck? Oof. Oof. Might have put Loctite on that. <laughs> there it is. Now oh, she's going. Yeah, I might have to punch this out a little bit. Uh, I might have to remove the rear brake spring too, otherwise I'm going to fold that back. This isn't going to be ideal, but... That works. Ah, boom. We're doing things, guys. Woohoo! Uh, yeah, swings arm, swing arm's off. I think I'm going to take the liberty to grease all my linkage bearings since I have it halfway apart already. Also need to check and grease the bearings on the other swing arm. And then uh, take one of the old wheel seals off of my old tire, put it on the new tire. I think we start putting it back together, if I'm not mistaken, so I might get to that. I'm not going to film all that because this video is already kind of sucking, so, <laughs> you know, I'll, I'll do that whenever. So, yeah, I apologize, guys. I mean, I was going to take you through the whole bearing greasing process, but got grease all over the place. I'm constantly doing stuff, and I, uh, yeah, I just... I got a nice expensive camera right there. I really don't want to cover it up in grease. So, all right, let's see if we can get this sucker in there. It was kind of a pain in the ass, so. Ugh. I should have probably removed that. That would help. I think we did it. Ah, boom. Wow. Cool. Super cool. 
Good enough. What's the worst that can happen? The thing comes off. All right. I mean, I usually torque this stuff, but I don't have a torque wrench. So I might have to wait until I do to go through everything and just make sure that I got everything set. Um, probably should have did that when, I'll probably just loosen everything up and torque it when I have everything assembled. It's not hard to get to everything for the most part. So uh, it's pretty hard to get a torque wrench in some of these places. This is fine, but like the linkage under here and everything. Okay, so I think now I gotta do like little things like chain slider, which mine is kind of busted looking at it. Put the chain adjusters on, get the rear wheel on. And yeah, I'm just gonna end it here for right now and then we'll jump back once I'm basically all done. There we go. Fucking hell. So here you are, guys. I, uh, I only have a couple things left to do. I still got to put the chain on. Uh, I don't have a tool to break off a link and install the master link. So I got to wait on that. So if you guys enjoyed this, I know it was pretty... Uh, not that great of a video, but if you ever wanted to make your CR80 small wheel into a big wheel, really simple. Like I said, top of the video, extended swing arm, larger set of wheels, longer rear brake uh, brake line here, and then a chain, and that's that's it. I mean, and then if you want to put the heavier springs in the front, I'm 155 pounds. This isn't even sprung for me either, so I might end up setting this up for the weight of my fiance and uh, just make it more dialed for her. But I gotta make sure that she likes the height of this and this isn't too much. Uh, she's currently in Vegas right now, so I gotta uh, wait for her to get back. She's on her bachelorette party. So yeah, so I guess I'm gonna wrap it up here, guys. Thanks for watching and then stay tuned. Make sure you subscribe because obviously we're gonna do a first test ride and it's not only gonna be my impressions too, it's gonna be her impressions. So if you wanna see my, uh, my future wife, <laughs> see if she hates everything I just wasted my day on. Make sure you hit that like button or subscribe button. Hit both. I don't know. Do whatever you guys want, you know? Thanks for watching.